weekly upgrade, the awakening upgrade that we're getting from this time. And I'm talking today about uh, October 28th, which is for me the tomorrow until November 3rd. And you thought you had a little break, but actually we are already in the middle of Scorpio. So the sun has moved in. There's a lot of planetary stuff going on. The galactic center is coming in with all its force. And it's a real kind of truth point, if I want to call it that way. So it is you being called into your truth. And truth here as your power, as your talent, as your mission, as your passion, as in what you're here to be, to do, the light that you have come to shine. So it's not anymore the change. You are the change that you want to see in the world. No, it's you are the light that you have come to be. So this is a very, very deep time. And of course, Scorpio takes us into, I almost want to say the dungeons, almost to take us into our biggest fears our biggest nightmares. So if you're having nightmares now, don't worry. It's just Scorpio inviting you in to that depth that you have not wanting to see. And of course, in a way, it's all in preparation for the 19th of November when Pluto moves into Aquarius for almost 20 years. So we are really at a truth point. How much do you want to accept your truth and what does that truly mean it is like we're going into a black hole and that black hole is asking you what is your truth why did you really come here and it's not a logical or linear answer of your mind so I'm talking about new earth I'm talking about ascension I'm also reconnecting to another very interesting lady by the name of Barbara Hand Co, who came up with these activations into the nine dimensions. And funny, why her book got republished, there is a new level of truth in that. There's a new level for us to truly accept. And it has to do a little bit with polarity. So we have duality and polarity. but. This polarity, this time, is really an invitation into a you, new unity consciousness. So in the Western world, which is really interesting, we have been disconnected in the lower dimensions from the Aryan age and even before. So these are all cycles. But the other thing that has happened in the Eastern world they were always looking at the higher dimensions, the higher consciousness. And we're thinking about the Buddhists and the Zen and the Hindu and many, 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 many other, the yogic experiences that in a way took us out of the human experience. And the Western world was so mental that it couldn't get out and was still disconnected to the true evolutionary force that is at place ever since creation actually took place. So this, this time, this week, is really an invitation for us to find that truth point. And so it's like there is this black hole. How much truth can you take? How much heart can you take? It's also interesting that Barbara speaks about the, the human brain as we know it is only able to understand up until the ninth dimension. And that doesn't mean that we can't access more. And when we look at the work of other people, we know that they go usually until the 12th. And yet I know from my personal experience, I often went into much higher dimensions or places that didn't have a number. So this week is really inviting you into that truth, into your true soul connection, your monad, your soul family, 
but also into that fractal that you are of source. So when soul came into being, it was a source fractal. And as you know, fractals are very beautiful things. They just keep on going and they come in beautiful geometry. And that brings me to the other part of this truth and this depth that we're going into. It's impossible to access without music, without sound. And so it is quite fascinating that we are in this energy. And it is, it is about grounding what we actually do not understand. We are all not scientists. And again, I'm referring to Barbara. I listened to a beautiful interview with her and, and Heather Ensworth. She said, um, we're actually not able to ground that in. And the access is really, really difficult. But I feel with these energies that we're having available right now, when we are able to match our vibration to these energies this week, you will be surprised what comes up. This is also a week to remember your star seat. Of course, you can do tests and whatever about your star seat. You can read which you are, what resonates. It's not really about the identity of the star seat. Maybe it's not even about the name. It is about recognizing that you are a star seat. And while we are here in the densest place on the in the cosmos on the Earth, it doesn't mean we didn't bring all the magic and wisdom and the heart of the other planets and stars that we have been living before. So I feel the way to truly accept that truth point of who we truly are and to ground and fly, I want to say, at the same time. And this was always the idea also of Advaita Vedanta, Maharashi. Uh, Ramana Maharashi talks so beautifully about that. It's about living it. It's not about meditating it. This is my own words, but you you understand me. And this is also what Mochi is telling us. It's not, this state of being is not a mental state. It's a state of wholeness that can only be really accessed through the heart. So I'm inviting you onto this light language bridge that is taking you to the star seat that you are to that light that allows you to see in that dark hole in that depth in that shadow of Scorpio and within that grounding in a multi-dimensionality so in the lower vibrations and there evolved state because there's an evolutionary force here at play not about the positive and negative but the potential this is more than 5d i'm talking about six and seven and eight and nine now as you can tell and even even higher so the light language today is that bridge to connect you to that star seat that has the light and the wisdom and the heart and the consciousness to truly ground your multidimensionality in at the moment, in the midst of all that darkness and shadow and depth that you really don't want to see, and yet it's your truth point and it's fine. So let me see who wants to come through for me today to share this light language bridge. It's a council of heart lights. And the Council of Heartlights, as you're possibly aware, is a celestial body that comes from different origins and stars. But I'm being reminded that the Southern Cross is supporting us a lot in being that bridge, that multidimensional channel to give us that connection to ground in our multidimensionality, the low, the middle and the high and everything that we actually cannot define. Una. 
नमे 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 यो this beautiful bridge into your star seat into your heart into your source fractal and the wholeness of your heart and your soul to fully access this multi-dimensionality in its unknown the shadow and all its aspects and drums that it is offering to us. No fear of the low or the high. No longer in the positive and negative, but in the potential and in the power, which is a grounding in the sixth dimension But if you stay with me for a moment, feel how the lower dimensions are coming up to ground in this power of who you are in the sixth. And feel the wisdom that is coming through from eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And feel how you're settling in in the sixth while you are fully grounded in all it was a bit more intense today so when you're ready just come back so let me know in the comments how that went yeah it's very exciting and i am curious how it's unfolding for you and i'm curious how it's unfolding for all of us for today or tonight because it's getting evening here in the jungle sending you so much love from my heart to yours